Boom shakalaka, what is going on everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love, and today's episode we are going to be talking about the Bitcoin price spike and subsequent crash and what this means. Are we going down to retest former lows? We will be looking at all of that stuff. In addition, we have some big news, stuff like new listing on Coinbase, stuff like margin trading, stuff like other crazy stuff. And if you stay tuned <clears throat> till the end, there is a couple things that I found that could potentially make the price go intergalactically stellar. So, and that's not a reference to stellar lumens, just, you know, like that. So, stay tuned to all of that right after a message from our sponsor. Now guys, before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody subscribing. Thank you to everybody double nuking the shit out of the like button. It's helping so much. I'm answering your comments. The channel's growing. We are going places. And what's been going on overnight? Well, it was pretty spectacular. Bitcoin's over $9,000. And then 9,000 has arrived and it's gone. And then, $32 million worth of longs and shorts got liquidated on BitMEX, and I'm sure much more than that even. So what's been going on in the markets today? I'll tell you. Bitcoin's at 82.17, Ethereum's at 2.52, and XRP at 41 cents. Look at the losses. Everything's in the red today. I mean, Bitcoin's down. It says 5.7% here, but it went to 9,000. It's down to 8,200. That's $800 out of $8,000 almost. That's like almost 10%. Bitcoin down almost 10% overnight. Bitcoin dominance is 56.2%, increased a little bit. Total market cap, $259 billion. Now, the big lo losers today, Bitcoin Diamond, Bitcoin SV. Oh, go figure, the shitty Bitcoin forks. And the big winners, there are some in the positive, Max Mine Coin, Moted Coin, and Byte Coin. So that's what's going on with the markets. Now, we kind of talked about this before. Actually, we talked about this a few times before. So I talked about it yesterday, how the price was going to break out. Talked about it yesterday. And then also, I talked about it two days ago, where I said, is this parabolic growth sustainable in this video here? Boom. So I talked about it before. It's not, it's not like it was unexpected, but let's take a look at it and figure out what's been going on. Well, anyways, we were riding up. We had this great... Uh, trend line right here. Okay, you can see it bounced off here, bounced off here, bounced off here, bounced off here. So, riding this great trend line until we came up to this top right here. Okay, see, bounced off it here, bounced off it here. And then, two, yeah, not yesterday, the day before, we were above it and we bounced off it to the top, but then we broke through and now it looks like it's being resistance yet again, as you can see right there. I'll circle it. So, so that's what's going on. MACD crossed over. We kind of called that happening yesterday. So, does this mean that the price is going to continue going down? Or is this just a little temporary measure? Because there are a lot of things I'm going to talk about at the end of the episode today that could potentially send the price intergalactically stellar. But, potentially, there might be a price, retra uh, price retracement. And who better to talk about it than the man, Magic Poop Cannon? Over on trading view, he has some good analyses. I mean, maybe he's right, maybe he's wrong. He's turned into kind of a perma bull bear recently. Everybody else is very bullish. And this is one thing that I wanted to touch on. Everybody is very, very bullish about the market. I actually said this yesterday. Everybody's very, very bullish about the market. Well, the market does opposite of what people want. So if everybody's very bullish about it, maybe it is time to be bearish about it. Or maybe not. I'm sure down in the comments, there, there's, there's one dude down in the comments who gets butt hurt every time I say something bearish about Bitcoin. He has very sensitive, he's like as sensitive as the XRP army. But anyways, <clears throat> let's go into this analysis because it is pretty good analysis here. So he wants to talk about a few things that Bitcoin is getting very close to the top of the move. First, because of the indicator called the money flow index, which is this right here. Okay, as you can see, it's at 97%. There's, it's only been at 97% a couple other times in the entire history of Bitcoin, which would be there, here, and here, both at peaks where the price subsequently crashed after that. So, uh, both times, Bitcoin suffer, suffered 
a correction of approximately 85.33%. So potentially 85% correction. Now, that's not the only signal. Also the NVT, I talked about this the other day from Willy Woo, the NVT signal. This one maxed out yet again when both of these could happen, could potentially bring the price back down to the 1,000 to 1,200 range, which would fulfill the hyperwave theory. But that would be pretty crazy if it went down that low. And I think that might even break the, what is it, uh, some, the 500, no, 3,500 days is 50 weekly, 500 weekly, something, some big moving average that Bitcoin has never broken through before. That could potentially break it, which would be crazy. So I don't think it'll go that low, but it's possible. Could bring us down to the $3,000, $2,000 range, which would retest the former lows. We would say, see if they still hold, but also percentages, okay? Looking at percentages above the weekly ribbon, we can see during the last bull market, there's several rallies where the price pushed 45 to 80% higher than the ribbon. Each time that happened, price corrected at least 40%, usually back to the ribbon. Currently, price is 55% above the ribbon. So even as this is happening, we're due for a correction of at least 40%. So you can see above the ribbon, back to the ribbon, above the ribbon, back to the ribbon, above the ribbon, back to the ribbon. Now we're above the ribbon, back to the ribbon. Now there is some good news. When we look at the last time the market broke above the ribbon, it was the beginning of the last bull market. So this could be the beginning of the bull market. That rally started just before price tested the 38.2% retrace. Currently, we're at the same retracement level. So stalling here would be similar to that seen in 2015, but that is relatively insignificant. In the short term, we could see Bitcoin test the 9,500 level. So it could go up. It could go up, but it could also very well go down. He sees October 9th, we'll be testing the bottom right at around $3,000. But don't go crying yet, because like I said, at the end of the episode, there's some news that might make you poop in your pants right out of your magic poop cannon. So, news today, Coinbase adding a new cryptocurrency. Which one are they adding? EOS. As a surprise, nobody saw this coming, but Coinbase added EOS. Now, the announcement notes that there's no transaction fees associated with EOS. The cost is in instead paid in computing resources, such as tax on RAM, CPUs, or network bandwidth. Users that run the network also earn EOS by contributing computational power, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, that's good news for EOS. Let's see what it did to the actual price of EOS. Did it make a big difference? Nope, negative 8%. I guess that Coinbase pump doesn't really work anymore. Other big news today, we, t we hinted about this, I don't know, like a week ago, but it's live in beta. Binance margin trading is now live for Bitcoin and for altcoins. That's right. You can margin, margin trade with Binance coin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum X, and XRP. What the hell is Ethereum X? I don't know. Oh, no, that's not it. Yes. Here... It says you can also do it with different ones. Maybe I didn't read this article good enough before. Here it says with Tron and Ripple as well. I don't know what the hell this is, but uh, I'm not editing this video. So read it for yourself if you want to margin trade. Listen, margin trading is very dangerous. I would not recommend it, but you can go ahead and margin trade. In fact, Coinbase is now hinting at margin trading. That's right. Potentially, you may be, able to, may be able to do it in the U.S. on Coinbase. Oh, right. Binance is only for people who, not, who are not in the U.S. Uh, Coinbase, potentially, that's an untapped market. People in the U.S., it's like people in the U.S. don't already margin trade. I know. Silly. Now, before you go and, you know, double down everything margin trading on Binance, I just want to read part of this article to you because this is the top article on the cryptocurrency Reddit right now. Titled, I Lost Everything, posted by No More Rest Sad Days. No More, no more Sad Days. Oh, gotcha. Uh, he says, I messed up really badly. More so than I ever had in my life. I lost all my crypto and fiat funds. I have no one to blame by myself. Through the entire bear market, he's been collecting as much Bitcoin and ETH as he could. He believed in the tech, as well as the opportunity for financial freedom. He used money from part-time jobs, a whole bunch of other stuff, to buy crypto every month. And then he discovered BitMEX, margin trading. Careful. Within a month, my discovery of BitMEX managed to ruin my life. He lost everything, everything. All the crypto and ETH that he saved, he lost it all on BitMEX. And you know what? He's absolutely 
freaking out right now as he's typing this and he's having thoughts of killing himself because he really doesn't think he can recover from this. He doesn't know what to do. If there's anything that anyone can take away from this, it's not to mess around with margin trading and leverage unless you really know what you're doing. It'll be the death of you, literally. So hopefully he's not suicidal. There are people down here um, saying, you know, please don't kill yourself. Let's talk, PM me, stuff like that. So hopefully he's not suicidal. Uh, it's a tough lesson to learn. Very tough lesson to learn. Margin trading is extremely dangerous. Most people get wrecked, get liquidated. I mean, take a look at this. The only people making money from margin trading are the exchanges like BitMEX, like Bybit, like now Binance, because they make a shitload of money when people get liquidated. Now, that sucks. So, so take this away. Don't margin trade or do what you want. Not financial advice, but I wouldn't margin trade. Anyways, on to the great news that could potentially send Bitcoin intergalactic. A billionaire wants to buy 25% of all Bitcoin currently available. B -b 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 what? Yeah, that's right. So there's a billionaire who wants to buy a quarter of the Bitcoin. This uh, Dadani syndicate is, has revealed a number of people are interested in buying Bitcoin in large amounts. E one dude equaling 25% of Bitcoin circulating supply. <laughs> So that would be 4.4 million Bitcoins out of 17 million that are out there. Now, out of that 17 million, there's only uh, 10.5 million haven't moved in about a year. So that means that really there's only about 6 million or so. So this person wants to own 4 million of that 6 million, meaning that people in the crypto space would only own 2 million. Which, guys, if you listen to simple economics, supply and demand, holy shit, that would blah with supply. Blah, 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 and the price would go up. The only thing, the next thing one may imagine is what would happen if they wake up one morning and decide they no longer want their Bitcoin. That would not be a pretty thought. If they dumped 25% of the Bitcoin, if they dumped 4.4 million Bitcoin, I don't know how they could do that. But, it, I mean, that could potentially send the price pretty intergalactically because if somebody wants to buy a quarter of them, I mean, who's going to sell their Bitcoin? Who's going to sell? Also, I touched on this one yesterday, but I didn't even realize the implications of it. Turns out Coinstar expanding to 2,200 lo locations after overwhelming Bitcoin demand. So we talked yesterday about how Coinstar, you can, you know, buy Bitcoin on them. I didn't even think that there's Coinstars in like every grocery store in the United States. That's a Bitcoin ATM in like every grocery store in the United States. You can take a look. Here's all the locations that they have. They're in Albertsons, Jewel, Safeway, Shaw, Save Mart, many others. Look at all those Bitcoin ATMs there that people can now do. And you know what? It doesn't, people don't actually have to go there and buy Bitcoin for them to join the revolution because here's the thing. They're shopping. They're walking out. They walk past the Coinstar machine. They see it say Bitcoin and they're like, damn, that's that Bitcoin thing. I heard about that. And they walk past it. Dude, I walked past a Bitcoin ATM probably a hundred times before I ever bought any Bitcoin. And I kick myself because I could have bought Bitcoin back when it was like a hundred dollars. But I didn't. But guess what? I still remember that. And that's one of the reasons why when someone who I really trusted told me about it, I did my research because I'd heard about it a whole bunch. So guess what? All these people are going to be seeing Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. More good news, right? Intergalactic price. And finally, in case you guys wanted to know where the price is going, I know we talked earlier about how the price could drop, retest lows, 3000 1200 maybe, we'll see. The price has dropped right now. But, oh, you know what I forgot to show you guys here? Duh. This, not only, so we dropped through this price support, but we are coming up on the 21-day moving average, which seems to be a bit of support right here. So we'll see if we break through that. And also... There is a lot of support right here, okay? This $8,000 price point, a lot of support right there. If we break through that, $7,300. If we break through that, $6,700, you know, stuff like that. That's a cool little thing you can use on there. But anyways, saving the best for last. The Bitcoin time traveler has been right many times since 2010, okay? Uh, this article is five years ago. It's on Reddit. I'm a time traveler from the future here to beg you to stop what you're doing. He's targeting, so basically it's an article about how Bitcoin, you know, ruins the world. Well, everybody gets killed, big wars, stuff like that. But before that happens, the price goes intergalactically stellar. That's right. Here, let's zoom in. 
On average, every year so far, the value of Bitcoin has increased by about a factor of 10, from $0.1 in 2010, $1 in 2011, $10 in 2012, $100 in 2013. From now on, there's a slight slowdown as the value increased by a factor of 10 every two years to $1,000 in 2015, $10,000 in 2017, $100,000 in 2019, and a $1 million in 2021. Guess what? $100,000 Bitcoin this year. I'm looking forward to it. Most certainly am. That is and MACD trading, so when the price comes back down, that much more Bitcoin. So that's all. That's good news for today. Yes, $100,000 big dollar Bitcoin in 2019. It's exciting. Even if the price is dropping today, it's still exciting to be in the space. And finally, guys, uh, if you want to get into trading, check out Signal Profits. There is a $7 uh, dollar trial for two weeks. You could check it out, or you could just buy the whole damn thing. You get trading signals where you can regularly get 18%, 8%, 8%, stuff like that. You can regularly get good returns on it with badass trading signals. You don't have to learn trading. You just copy, paste, and profit. Also, check out the Monarch wallet. Earn interest on your crypto while it's just sitting there. Why the fuck not? It's like 5% interest on your crypto when you just have it in a very secure wallet. I don't know why not. So that's all for today. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll catch you later. Love you. Peace.